Money makes the world go round. Legal or illegal, good guys and bad guys, we all chase money. For the DEA, it's about budget meetings and kissing the right ass to keep the funding flowing. But if you're a trafficker, getting the money is easy. It's holding on to it that's hard. In the early days, cash was flown back to Colombia on the same planes that carried coke into the States. Then it was converted into pesos, or, if you were Pablo Escobar, stuck in a hole somewhere. One trafficker died with so much cash buried on his property. When it rained, the river downstream became clogged with bills that had washed free. The biggest problem with illegal money is the trail that it leaves. Once upon a time, American banks would take your money, no questions asked. That changed when President Nixon signed the Bank Secrecy Act, requiring all U.S. banks to report transactions involving more than $10,000 in cash. And from that law, money laundering was born. The first stage of money laundering is called placement, and Cali had it down to an art, bringing workers from the communas to the U.S., where their job was to buy money orders, each just under 10 grand, so they wouldn't be reported. No ID was required, and the orders could even remain blank until they were deposited or cashed. Once they'd bought a bunch of money orders, they packed them up and sent them south to a land of sunshine and lax oversight, Switzerland on the Caribbean, Panama. Since they didn't regulate wire transfers, Panama was the perfect place for the second stage of money laundering, layering. And here's where the master goes to work. The behind-the-scenes MVP of any drug cartel is the money launderer, the guy that takes the dirty money and scrubs it clean. Here's how. The money orders were deposited into local bank accounts and then bounced through shell companies and limited partnerships, creating an untraceable web of phony purchase orders and transaction reports, wiping clean the money's criminal origins. But no matter how well you hide it, money always leaves a trail. And the best way to hurt the Cali cartel was to find it.